um, and I, I need to sort of share what, what I think is a really big thing that people can do and that is a really, really easy thing to do that you literally can do as soon as you leave this meeting is switch your electricity provider to um, renewable energy provider. It's really, really easy. There's a, a good website called Big Clean Switch. Um, so they actually um, were part of the um, the uh, Ones with Climate Summit that we did back in November. And, and we had a, a, a talk that covered similar sort of areas as talking about here and greening your home um, and so they're really really good they've got a really simple tool that that lets you see how much you can you can save in terms of your money because quite often people have um, fuel tariffs that actually aren't the best things to be having really uh, they, they're not always the, the best ones the most efficient ones that the ones that can 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 save you money uh, and then you can have you can access that um, on, on the Big Clean Switch website. So that's really, really good. Uh, and I would recommend that you do that if you haven't already got um, a, a renewable energy tariff. Um, I've got a hand up from Annalisa. Hi, thanks, Andrew. Um, I, I also actually work for Wandsworth Council. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm one of the climate change leads, so this is very much my bag. Um, but I'm also one of the people on here who is in that under 40 bracket that um, we were talking Hooray! about earlier. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> I can see Alvin's uh, very happy with that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was actually just going to say exactly what Andrew did. I think one of, for me, um, you know, I'm, I'm not on the fuel poverty line, but equally I do find my bills have been really expensive. And especially being a renter in London, um, it's there's, there's not a lot that you can often do to your house, but what you can do is like change your tariff. And so, you know, we're not just talking about fuel poverty, but also talking about like the poverty premium and the fact that that is, um, you know, people who are already living on like pretty low salaries um, can often be paying more than what higher income people are because they're stuck on these terrible tariffs that are basically just standard variable rate and they're they're on they're on the highest rates and switching is like the easiest thing you can do and I didn't do it for years and I didn't realize how much money I was going to save and once I did that I was saving like literally hundreds and hundreds like close to a thousand pounds a year um so yeah and the big clean switch is great because it's got a lot of renewable energy providers on there um, as well. So you're getting a renewable tariff and you're getting the benefit of that switch as well. And those renewable tariffs um, do tend to be at the moment, a lot of the a lot of the cheapest ones. So definitely recommend doing that. Um, I also really recently moved into um, a house that had lots and lots of what I found out were 60 watt and 70 watt light bulbs. Um, and I worked out that the cost of running one of those for a year was more expensive and just one of them and I had like 20 of these was like more expensive than buying new LEDs for replacing all of those bulbs. So um, just by replacing those bulbs and it cost me 30 or 40 pounds, um, I've saved not just um, the amount of money I would have spent on one of those bulbs, but I've done that kind of 10 times over. So that is also saving me this year, like a couple of hundred pounds easily. Um, and then the other thing that I do, which is not helping me in terms of reducing my bills in any way, but is helping me um, reduce the carbon that I'm using um, is and Andrew mentioned right at the beginning looking at you know what the mix of the of the national grid is at the moment so the electricity that we're using um, is is made up of, of gas and solar and wind and sometimes coal depending on like the time of day um, and depending on what day it is so um, often you'll find that overnight it's really windy so we're actually we actually use a lot of renewables at that point of time and if more of us are using Using renewables um, at, at those periods of time so we can like switch the time that we're using our electricity then that helps to manage like the national grid overall and reduce um, how much gas we're putting on there so for example I can go on to um, that carbon intensity website and I can see that um, for example tomorrow it's actually better for me to run my dishwasher or my tumble dryer or my washing machine um between like 10 and 12 o'clock in the morning and actually i shouldn't be using those between kind of 6 and 8 p.m tomorrow um and those are just little things that you know don't help me sell money save money but help the the country overall um 
but yeah, I, I thought some basic tips on when you have very little ability to do anything might be helpful for other people on this call.